Um, thank you for organizing this. It is hard for all of us. Um, it's only been a week and a week is not enough time for the shock and sadness to wear off. But perhaps enough time to collect our thoughts a bit and come together to share who Rahul was and what he meant to us. Can you see the screen? So I'm sharing some comments that people have uh, sent me, but it's not, it's just a few. Um, but you'll see that in all of the comments, certain themes get uh, repeated. And so I'll, I won't read out what's on the screen, but I'll read what I wanted to say independently. But they are very much consonant with what you see on the screen. Rahul was a man of many parts. As a linguist, he defied easy categorization. His 2009 dissertation was on OCP effects in Telugu, but he also worked simultaneously on Telugu reduplication and distributivity. And in recent years, he devoted himself to understanding, uh, to understanding and unraveling the mysteries of indefinites and polarity items in Telugu and other Dravidian languages. He was a scholar in the true sense of the word, reading everything with an open mind, not to prove a point, but to understand how language works. His recent papers are a treasure trove of hidden gems. Cross-linguistic work in semantics is relatively recent because semantics as a part of linguistic theory is relatively recent. His passing is a loss to the field of course, but particularly so to the field of South Asian semantics. There are so few of us, and now we are one less. But we have his work, and we have the brilliant young scholars to whom he imparted his passion for semantics. And we must look to them to keep it going. I was asked to speak about Rahul's intellectual and professional contributions. But we belong to a discipline that is also a community. This is true for linguistics as a field, but even more so for South Asian linguistics. It is impossible to talk of Rahul, a colleague, without talking of Rahul, a friend. And it is impossible to talk of his brilliance without talking about his gentleness. It is impossible to talk about his love of Lambda without talking about his love of chocolate. So we are left asking why. Did he not see the Rahul we saw? Did we do enough to show him what he meant to us? Could we have somehow prevented this tragedy? These are all unanswerables. And we will just have to accept the reality of his death. Not right away, but eventually. Because we have no choice. But till then, we must try to celebrate who he was. And we must always keep in mind that he lived life to the full and on his own terms. And for those of you who haven't seen this website that uh, Diti has created, let me just give you a sense of that. You will see, um, you will see all, you will see the num, I mean, I don't think any of us, we all knew he was, you know, brimming with ideas as Anna said, but so many papers, my God, so many handouts and all of this, is only part of who he was. If you go to the, I think my time is running short, it's a pity, but I, uh, you should go there. You will see Rahul laughing and smiling and enjoying life. And I think that's what we need to remember. Thank you. <laughs>